Hi, in this video, we will discuss how to use the gauss seidel method and the Thomas method to solve the inverse problem. For special metrics such as the band metric, the previous method that you have learned such as the Gaussian elimination and also the LU decomposition method are inefficient and in general, the band metric means the square matrix that has all elements equal to zero except at the band center on the main diagonal for example the finite difference equation that you obtain in the elliptic pde so this is band matrix so you can see the diagonal is non-zero as well as the band so in this case, if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so the band width is equal to 7. Beside the element in the diagonal as well as the band width, you obtain 0 outside of this band width. So this is the general diagram for the band matrix where you have the diagonal at the center here and then you have the band width and half band width multiplied with 2 plus 1 will be equal to your band width for example in this case your half band width will be 3 which is this 3 multiplied with 2 which is this you get 6 plus 1 at the diagonal so this is the general formula for the band matrix in this example, we can call this matrix here to be the band matrix with band width equal to 7. From this description, you should understand that the non-zero element is dominant near the diagonal with band width equal to 7. Also in the parabolic PDE chapter, this is the finite difference equation that you obtain. And you can see that on your left hand side, this is your band matrix. If you count the band width here, the band width is equal to 1, 2, 3. In specific, we can call this as the tri diagonal matrix. So, why is tri diagonal matrix? So, it's a band matrix with the band width equal to 3. In this chapter, we will use a more efficient algorithm that is the Gauss Seidel and also the Thomas method in order to solve the band matrix like this case.